she packed more snacks, starting with a wafer, have a wafer attack. Oh, snack time, snack time, it's wow. snack time. Ying home number, number nine. nine. Ying home number nine. So we're at the Lake O'Hare parking lot, uh, jumping on the shuttle bus. Uh -huh. We didn't know if we'd get to book this bus. This was a huge breakthrough late in our planning process. We did not win the lottery, but then we managed to book this well. Exactly the day we want. Exactly the day we wanted. And we were in the pouring rain in Algonquin camping when we booked the bus. <laughs> we got this bus, it saves us 22 kilometers of extra logging road hiking not spectacular okay we're super stoked super happy yes. about that now we're right in front of the uh bus uh getting ready the morning was not hectic but we didn't have time to video a little bit earlier yeah but now thanks we're there. to your great planning <laughs> everything was super smooth this morning it was really okay. good and this is surreal isn't it we're actually yeah. getting on the lake and we had bus. a 10k hike yesterday with uh, with some altitude so good I'm warm little... up <laughs> I'm okay. a little bit scared. So we got some update as part of the trail is still closed and somebody got injured yesterday. Yeah. Went yeah, to the they, hospital so they closed those. They uh, said it's slippery. snowy and slippery. Yeah, so, so they closed that uh, slippery part mm -hmm. for safety. So we have to rethink planning and replanning uh, how are we going to approach this. Now we're on the road. I have to say that was an interesting bus ride. I keep thinking that we're so lucky to have the bus, uh, to have the seats on the bus was because of COVID. So less people can get in the country, so we have a better chance. But I did a little count when I was in on the bus. So it was like a 10 people for a 32 seat bus, mostly empty. So I was wondering, I don't know, I feel like uh, this year could be still very hard to get because there was... Restricted <laughs> seats, right? I think yeah, they limited was... the seating so they could space us out. Yeah, like a COVID restriction also affected the seats. Yeah, and so... even though the restrictions are lifted, everybody on that bus, I think everybody was wearing masks. So it was really yeah. nice, really conscientious people. Yes. Really going to be a nice... Just, uh, of course, there's no question we're lucky to get the oh my seat gosh. just um <laughs> i i didn't i feel like just to know that there's a limited even less seat on the bus it feels even luckier even luckier right yeah and then when we see the trail it was we were told 11 kilometers of gentle incline not so gentle and not very interesting trees right at the edge of the road and yeah. pretty darn steep yeah Woo. doesn't look like a very pleasant uh, so at fun least we're hike. starting fresh here yes I'm a slightly uh, worried about the album bus, as the uh, 631 says to be quite popular, which makes sense. You eventually made it here, you don't want to rush it. Yeah. But um, I think we're going to take the 630. I think that lady's very cautious. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you ask the guy, the, no. the driver? Okay. Anyways, we will see how it goes. We got a green token, they got to get us out of there. <sighs> I Basically, do know. If I'm there at 6.30, they're taking me out. Right. So far, I'm not climbing yet. It's a set to climb. Uh... Whoa, whoa. Speaking of which, I got to make sure we don't pass the uh, upward part. Let's have a look at the map. When you said that, I really... Okay. Well, How coming, was that? We're going to start climbing, start extreme climbing in about less than 100 meters. So on our left. A, about 800 meters of climbing up. Yeah, 850. I'll... I don't know. I'm really pessimistic. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Why? Perfect. It what just is you... so steep, but I don't think the camera will really catch it. No, I think a look down might be better. I will, yeah. I'm going to have a look down. We took a little break to set up the camera, so I was wheezing a second ago. Anyway, you'll hear more of that. Yeah, this might give you more of a sense. Beautiful view. This has been a beautiful trail so far. Lots of cedar smell. Just amazing. Let's get to the top. 
Oh wow, uh, so uh, we just took a little break to uh, take off of heavy jackets and stuff because this climb is, uh, it's a climb, it's a proper climb. You can see in just, uh, I don't know, let's check the time, yeah, about 10 minutes from being at lake level, we're now here and we've got plenty left to go. So I sure am looking forward to that view. I'll just give a look around here. Plenty of chance to smell the fresh air as we breathe extremely heavily climbing this trail. We're almost a halfway and there's no joking. No what? Uh, no joking about those steep hills. Oh yeah. And uh, we're not quite halfway, but we're no, we're possibly more than halfway. <laughs> we're here, the contours end here. Okay. We go do a little ledge and a final push okay. and then it flattens out, but it's still up. Okay. Okay, look at the scene behind us. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. Holy uh, crow. Okay. We're okay. at about uh, 2100 meters. Okay. We're going to end up at around 2530 at the gap. Okay, so that's not too much. It's... Uh, okay. We're not halfway. <laughs> we're halfway to a longer break. Okay, I'm pretending that I'm positive. But right now I have a little internal cry. <sighs> that's our resting, mini resting spot. Oh my god, look at the road. Oh my god, it looks so flat. Just to see. Uh, okay. Can you look up to me from there? I'm telling you folks, this is super steep. I thought the Wawaxi Gap was going to be a saddle, but I don't think so. I think that the canyon there that you see is the Wawaxi Gap. And there at the top, the very tippy top in the background is Wawaxi Peak. I'm Pretty you. rocky over there. But if we just come around, I'll show you what we came up. And where I stand right now, this mini platform you're Maybe. way down there. I can't even get you in the frame. Oh, wow. Where are you? Huh. Huh? Where I stand? This oh, mini platform? shoot. Hang on, hang on. I'm a silly goose. You find me? Oh, you're way there. I'm yeah, I just there. noticed. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Right here is a resting point, also known as a cursing platform. Cursing platform. Cursing rock because you thought, oh my God, I'm finally done. This is where you see, there's almost like, a, if not 90 degree, that's what, 70 degree, okay, climb. Oh yeah, and, it's steep. And my heart is a pump like crazy, so this is the time you get out all the F, the S, the uh, all those, and keep working. Right. Well, after we check the map, it turns out that uh, the super steep, rock thing wasn't our continued route so i'm willing to give that rock a more beautiful name that i cannot think of it's not cursing rock anymore the uh i was wrong as we said uh, that we're supposed to come sideways on the mountain now we don't have to climb up that treacherous gap that i saw thank heavens we get a little shelter from the sun along this flat route such a sudden change in the trail texture. It's soft and soft and cushiony with all these needles and sheltered from the sun. It's just beautiful. Oh wow, and we're coming out. These were the rock ledges we saw from the bottom. Now we're beside them. This goes straight up. So we just finished our little break. And we uh, started out on the trail and we hit a, what looked like an intersection. And now we've learned uh, something as subtle as those little rocks. You see how it looks like the trail over there. Pretty clearly looks like the trail. But those two rocks are telling you, nope, that's not the trail. This one over here is the trail. This bunch of roots. <sighs> Sorry about the camera work, I'm exhausted. But this is actually the trail. And luckily we got a pretty good map 
with GPS and whatnot so I can kind of see my dot and always make sure we are actually on the trail because uh, we don't want to get lost up here. <sighs> this is amazing. She packed more snacks, starting with a wafer, have a wafer attack. Ooh, snack time, snack time. It's Whoa. snack time with, what is this? I don't know. Take one yin. What? I don't know, I forget. Drink it. Okay, let me identify. Okay, tea. okay. This no, no, is... no, let me identify. I think this, this is, is Ying Hom number, number nine. nine. Ying Hom number nine. <laughs> Your song doesn't save you. It's YT, it's a Bai Mudan. Oh, Bai Mudan. Okay guys, I'm super tired, okay? I have to say, it's really hard to tell because I really feel like when we're oh. climbing or doing other stuff, all the senses got shut down. Oh my god, like, my mouth is so dry. Oh, almost a loss of thermos. Yeah. Um, Can't let anything slide here. We're taking a mini break here as we start to climb again. We're actually around the tree line, I would say. Okay, this is yeah, our trail, bit, okay? They're quite a bit smaller. I have to really look up. You see that? You don't see the trail, yes, because it's... Oh my god, I don't see it either. It's yeah, straight up here. Oh my god, it's stunning. And we're at almost exactly 2200 meters. Okay. And in the next little walk, we're going to be at 2300 meters. And then in the same amount of little walk, maybe a little bit more, we're going to be at 2400 meters. Okay. And then after that, we're going to be at 2530. That's where we peak. So we've got, that's pretty good. We've only got about um, one, two, 300 meters to go out of 800. I think we've done most of the climbing. 22, 21. I don't know. Yeah, I think we've done most of the climbing. We're halfway on the vertical path. Wow. I don't know about you guys, but I'm those people when I'm like really suffering, I want to hear those numbers. Those numbers somehow help me feel like there's a hope feels like I could do it we're almost there otherwise I just uh, when will it end I like the surprise right yeah we're the opposite and see I'm just sitting here videoing not moving an inch I'm stretching the whole <laughs> bones out <laughs> and we have a bunch of gear our backpack is quite heavy and yeah, ridiculous heavy Ridic For you guys, okay? All that camera gear is super heavy. I hope you appreciate it. Thumb <laughs> up right now. Thumb up right now. That's right. <laughs> no option. Forget about thumb down. Thumb up. <laughs> Who is squeaking at us? Somebody's hungry, I think. It's the first one we've seen, but it is a nice, just so you know how big it is too. You know, it's not giant. It's the first one we've seen, and it is a nice reminder that we are indeed on the right trail. And what's it like up here? Well, well worth the huffing and puffing. Oh, I can't wait to get to the our peak. It's not the peak of the mountain, but it's pretty high up there. If I complain too much, it's just because my, my legs are screaming but this is epic look at i we walk out of the pine wood and here i am oh my gosh and what you hear is that little mountain stream and feel in the background look here oh my god i don't know just this sound is so refreshing This is like spring water and better. It's it's 
gentle, sweet. It's not mineral like the campsite or the kicking horse or the river that we tasted. This is just a really... Uh, what did you describe kicking horse? Savory. Savory, yeah. They have that heavy mineral taste that makes tea and itself very savory. But this is just a refreshing, brisk. And freezing, I bet. <laughs> it's freezing, but actually not as freezing as uh, the other one. It's just a beautiful mountain, tasty, <laughs> tasty mountain stream. All right, so this is the water we got from the creek near Kicking Horse. I, I don't get the full-on savory like Jen described, but it is definitely mineral. We're gonna swap it. I've climbed up here so I can fit the Nalgene under there. I'm gonna basically dump it, so sorry about that. We got another one at home though, so that's okay. Actually, we got tons of this at home. Did you try this one yet? Not yet, I'm gonna just, I'm really thirsty, have a little sip. <laughs> Add a once bit of- you, Once you have that, you wouldn't want the other water. So I put some of the kicking horse right here in the- uh... Ooh. <laughs> This big rock just moved, so oh. be careful down below. And I got a full thermos of this. I'll take it easy on. I'm not going to chug this because this is cooler. I don't want to get a tummy ache. You're right. It's not freezing. Right? It's much warmer you than really I thought. You really think that would be hot? I think like it's. Be I think because it's sun-baked rock. Possible. It's a very delightful temperature. You're right. The temperature it's and not that penetrating mineral flavor right Ooh, we're gonna brew with this <laughs> yes oh boy i'm gonna take another drink and refill it yes what about the other cup we have two we have tons of that at home i'm gonna fill yeah, both of yeah, them here we're gonna... <laughs> sorry kicking horse <laughs> we're not just a... oh that is tasty this water is so good like <laughs> <laughs> watch out dangerous that's scree that's oh, what I think that's, that's what she was describing. Yes. It's really nasty to walk on. Mm -hmm. oh. Alrighty, so we just finished that water break and it seems like every move we make is just more exciting. This is now our trail. Yeah, you see that edge, that big cliff there that drops off and there's a beautiful lake there. That's where we got to walk. And uh, if you think I'm going to be filming while I'm over there, uh, you got to think again because I'm going to stop filming right now and pay full attention to my footwork. But I'll give you a little look up. Have a look up at those mountains. Woo! Well, we haven't come that far, but it seems like every turn we make is just breathtaking view after breathtaking view. So we're taking frequent rests and just enjoying it to the max, okay? To the max. I think there is some more on my backpack. Time to carry on. There's our gorgeous little trail. That's pretty flat for us now. We're kind of excited about this little break. I think I just spotted some strawberries up here with their pollinator. Fly, not bees. Hey, yo, you must be a stinky strawberry flower. We're taking another break. Uh, we're not, still not at the top yet. Darn close though. 130 meters, guys. Oh my god. 130 meters, we're getting close. We've we're gone 700 close. meters already, straight up. Uh, and I sound funny because my lips are sticking to my gums. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get yeah, some tea. A lot of breath. And uh, wow. Very. I tell you what, though, every breath that we take, it's worth three. It's stunning. I had a one to one ratio down the hill, I upgraded. <laughs> I uh, I forgot what I meant to say. Uh, I oh, I'm just so tired. Have some tea. <sighs> okay, that's helpful. We got some uh, white tea, some Bai Mudan up here. Incredibly refreshing. Oh no, we switched. Still Bai Mudan? Mm -hmm. We switched. 
We did a switch. It's still by me down. See, maybe altitude dumb. I'm not sure what's going on <laughs> with us here. Uh, but the tea, I'm telling you. I, I remember when I first got into tea or when we were first getting started, you told me like tea is better than water. I was very skeptical. I'm not skeptical anymore. Okay, it just ha adds that refreshing element. Even the spent by Mudan we had, we did it like a quote unquote cold brew, but with spent leaves. So we finished yeah. the hot tea. We poured some of that cold mineral water in. It still adds that something. Just gives it a little more it's great mouth for hiking. wateriness. Really, yeah. really you good You can even eat the leaf. That's the part I like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, okay, this is almost three hours. Three hours? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I said 1120, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 11, 12, 12 one. 1. Okay. Two hours. Two oh, hours. Not bad. We're making great time. <laughs> anyway, I'm enjoying the moment. So yeah. um, it's not rude. really about the time, is it? Huge, huge bumblebee. Like, oh, yeah. Look at that fatty. Especially for up here. Everything's small up here. The mm. flowers are small. Look at the trees. Show them this tree right in front of us. Can you flip around? Live? Yeah. We're getting to that point where the tree line, you know, that guy's... I'll go stand there so you know what we're talking about. Watch out. You know, it's only a six foot tree. Uh, maybe seven. But, yeah. you know, we're getting above the tree line. Yeah, and, there's uh, no major trees. Oh, yeah. baby. I look up, I see rock. Yeah. So, pretty exciting climb. Let you see what we're seeing here on top. Uh, I need to sit up to show you. <laughs> Move, right? uh, hey yo, you know once I sit down and my, my butt just glued to the rock Okay, this is the top the top. Okay when we're in the middle we look up I was like yeah. whoa barren just yeah. the rock and we're so close to it now oh, Epic So we're carrying on Finally found a portion of trail that I feel safe enough to shoot some video while we walk. I have to keep adjusting the angle of the camera upward to keep track of Jen there. The wind is changing. We had a breeze, a warm summer breeze, all the way up. It's turning more into a chilly ice breeze. Cooler, much cooler. Still t-shirt friendly. Huh? But I'm probably gonna Put on a long sleeve sweater at the top because we're getting up into the snow now. Right. If I look across, right, I'm going to pass by, carry on. So that's the, uh, I'm actually going to turn around. I feel like looking up robs me of the dignity of how steep this trail is. So this is the same angle. All you see is sky. I just come down and we see the lovely Ms. Lou, and behind her, the trail that we've been climbing steadily. Oh boy, let's carry on. Phil is ahead. I'm still climbing. There's a sign. I'm taking a lame selfie there because this is so much climbing. I don't think I climbed so much as up in my life. Like this kind of steep. Ayo. Okay, now Phil is gonna. We're at the. Ayo. We are at the top, top ish of this uh, trail. If this is the top. I think this is the no, top. this is the top. This is it. Okay. For height, I think we need okay. more than this. And Mr. Phil is going to introduce us to all the mountains we can see here. Yeah, I'm just getting my bearing. Mm-hmm. Wes is on my... Uh, O'Hare is on my back. <laughs> so we got uh, Mount Huber. Like the gentleman said, is this guy over here. I'm wondering what's... Oh, you know what? I can't tell you what's across because my map <gasps> doesn't look out far enough. Okay, we have a low-tech map that we doesn't show us much. Type. So just enjoy the view, like me. We've got a, we're at the top, so Lake O'Hara is actually over that way behind us. We've been looking at that view all the way up. So we're in a bit of a saddle between Victoria and um, probably Waxy. That's Waxy Peak there. Mm -hmm. And looking out uh, into the Oho Valley here. 
I would say. I'm not sure. If I'm wrong, I'll we'll fix it. Yeah, in little, this is more. a spontaneous introduction and naming process. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> and we just had a nice chat with a guide, which was really interesting. We learned about some really like uh, more intense hikes, and now my I'm a little bit. I want to come back and try. I want to be behind those horses. Right, just hang on to them, uh -huh. and they pull you up. I enjoy the view. They do the work. I'm gonna try some of this. Oh, that's smarter. I should have tried that. Do you agree? Oh, your hat is sparkling with water. Let me come in close so we could capture that. And my glasses. Look down. Look down. Oh. My glasses are covered. You know, sometimes when you um having high-end steaks, you want a special stone or where you know special salt as the base to do it that is the special stone for this water it does have that uh, snow flavor that you were saying a moment ago and uh, nitro nitrogen i don't know if it's nitrogen yes Just that, uh, yeah personally i still prefer that the water flows a little bit more mm. and on the rock and have a little warm rock as the mini toasting it really didn't make that taste really good this is a slightly too close to snow flavor for me right which still like in the end is it's still very lovely here we can here we can see here we can see the water floating down from the top of the mountain and phil is taking some sip how is that? Really good? See, similar to the last one, but a little bit different. Yeah? Still very tasty and clear. Uh, I don't know if it's as... I would say it's still even less mineral. Less even mineral. less mineral? Yeah, I think because it's so new. I may be crazy, but I would say you can almost taste the snow. Like, I think this is fresh milk. Just over that ridge, probably. I don't know. We're continuing our walk on the trail. This is a much, like, much easier part, I think. Oh, I lost Phil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're walking yeah. along the contour lines now, not through. Yeah. Up and down a little bit, but everything is very comfy. After that previous training, it feels like an easy breezy, okay? Easy breezy. So uh, that's why I can now finally have a little talk and not just a panting like a dog. <laughs> just want to take a second and show you the view of the lakes here. I'm going to come down a bit. So there's Lake Oessa there. Then you've got beneath it, you know, connected by a little mountain river. That other little guy there, I don't think that even has a name. I'm not sure. And then further over here, at another much like lower altitude again, another mini lake. And finally, it dumps into da -da -da -da, Lake O'Hara. But this is a neat, we saw it earlier, but this is a view I can, you can really see all the little lakes as the water flows down the mountains. Time to keep going. I'll show you what we're walking along. Really nice little trail here. I gotta watch my footing, of course. All right, I'm getting made fun of because I'm so excited to see snow and it's been pointed out that I'm a quote unquote Ottawa guy um, and that uh, that should be the last thing I wanna see. And there's some truth to that, but it's pretty cool in July when you're high in the mountains to see a field of snow that you're gonna walk through. Oh my gosh, I'm, I am pretty excited. I feel a bit goofy. I don't know what to expect here. I hope I don't sink too deep. It doesn't look too deep. There's even footprints, foot tracks. So I'll just follow those huh? and show you mine if I can. Whoa, it's slippery. It's slippery. Whoa, whoa. be careful. Be careful. It's slippery. I'm telling you. Are you okay back there? Whew. I almost wiped out. I wouldn't have gone far, but you know, I don't want to wipe out. All right, I did it. Let's come around. Whoa.
Oh. You know why? Because it's ice and uh, it's, it's melting. It's melting super wet snow, snow huh? Yeah. All right, so we're at a decision point in the trail here, mm -hmm. uh, right, standing right beside uh, Oe Lake Oessa, and we have to make a decision uh, whether to continue on to uh, Opabin, 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 Opabin Plateau, or Opabin. whether to uh, whether to head back down to Lake O'Hara. Um, I think we're going to splash up the route we had planned. And then we'll show the route we actually did. We've had a great time. I would love to do the whole route, but 10 kilometers on flat ground in Ottawa is much different than 10 kilometers <laughs> in the Rocky Mountains. We're that's, really close. That's an hour away from the bus. Yeah, we had a great time. We didn't have lunch yet, so we're gonna have lunch at Lake O'Hara. Just enjoy the view, and uh, I just want to show you. Like I just, I really, I really appreciate how much they try to make this trail really not trail i look around glance around oh my god it's all rocks but if i have a closer look or pay more attention i won't get lost you know that's the in kind of a insurance i get here is you can clearly see this is the trail so how it's blending is epic how it's obvious is also epic at least uh, that's something i really love I'm dry, how are you? I'm okay. Side by side. This Hot is fruit. the Huiyuan Rougui, Huiyuan Ken Rougui from previous, uh, uh, I don't know which video will be up first, but from the tasting Just go video. check it out, it'll be up there by the time you see it. Me, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like I said, I don't know which one will go first. So, uh, if it's not up, it will be probably yeah. close. So we got a hot brew of it. We split, basically we had a nice tea video, check it out. Uh, we've got the hot brew with a remainder of the leaf here because that tea can go on forever. Just an amazing tea. Definitely check out the video for, I don't know, just check it out. Ah. And, uh, we've got the hot brew here. So we're we split at, okay, the leaf. Wait, wait, wait. We're at the end of our day here. Oh, Almost yeah. make it back to Lake O'Hara. And that's why we're talking like a drunk or some kind of a... In, yeah, we've you know, been at altitude for quite a while. <laughs> Good excuse. Right? I'm gonna put this in my pocket because if I drop it, it's not gonna mm -hmm. be retrieved. Okay. I'm gonna try the cold brew first. You try mm -hmm. the hot brew. Mm, this is amazing. Hold up. I'm gonna. Oh! Try it he out. He has an extra arm. Didn't know. Oh boy, that is really good. That What it captured this cold brew, okay? The real depth, um, the depth, the mouthfeel, it's missing, but what it does have is big cinnamon, okay? Big rogue cinnamon. Yes. Rocky. For me, it's rocky too. Mineral. Mm -hmm. Rocky cinnamon, yep. That very dry element of a uh, rock. Okay, I gotta switch review because my arm is shaking. Here comes some rain too. Switch. Mm. As we're heading down to Lake O'Hara, launch um it started to rain and it's not bad based on the lighting i think it's not going to be very awful and it's just a dribble it's very lovely i would say after all day of hiking and uh smell that uh patch of core <laughs> from the gravels the dirt to the I think the, even the plant gives something unique because it's different than what we smell at home, that kind of a grass, you it's know. Something like asphalt pepper corn. Yeah, yeah. And there's a little stream. So, uh, it kind of is like a nice finish of the whole day. I really, personally, I really love rain. So, it's not a... An issue or unpleasant. Right? It's just a Especially cooling. This gentle, beautiful, gentle drizzle. I hope I didn't jinx it and now we have a downpour. <laughs> Probably not. But weather report did say that there might be some thunderstorm. And let's look up. I don't know. I bet on this is just some shower. 
Whew. So we're back at uh, Lake O'Hara level. Just kind of taking it in before we jump on our uh, shuttle back to the parking lot and then to our campsite for what will be undoubtedly a delicious supper. Just because after so much spectacular activity, how could it not be delicious? All right, so we're just on the sort of the last few meters of uh, of the Lake O'Hara Trail, the main one that goes around the lake. Mm -hmm. Nice, easy, flat walking. The lake is a gorgeous emerald color. And this, the rain stopped. We had a we had a little rain, a little light, little drizzle. Nothing that was really uh, nothing that was really. Mm, We had a light rain, a little drizzle, which was really refreshing. I think it kind of added to the whole experience, really. <sighs> but I'll tell you what, I'm super excited to get back to the campsite, have some Maybe tea. It's all talking about food now. Yeah, yeah, I want to eat and we I want to have, have some lunch, tea. Huh? We had plenty of tea, but I'm still really dry. There was a lot of work today, well worth it. Okay, this is where we left this morning. We're back. Woohoo! Sincerely, no matter where you go, what kind of trail you go, it's just a stunning. You look around, you look over there, mountains, snow, waters, waterfalls. Oh, yeah. Clean the food. Hit the fly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're I'm back. chewing a little bit. I'm trying not to chew on camera and do this. <laughs> I was doing that the whole time. <laughs> okay, okay. Focus. Wait, what? What were we? Summary. This is a conclusion section at the very end of the video because we're just waiting for the returning bus. We're super early, nobody here. We take our time to have a lunch. That's right. Disclaimer. Supper. It's been a high exertion day at altitude for us, so we might seem like we're drunk or stoned. Neither is true. We are simply exhausted, hungry, super happy about how our day went mm -hmm. and ready to share something really cool with you. You probably guessed it because you probably saw it earlier in the video, but anyway. Leave a comment below if you guessed. Tell them what it is. Boo yeah. <laughs> we're going to do the official quest, tasting quest. now. Yes. We've done a, a couple tastings as we came down the hill because mm. we were really thirsty. We mm. had to drink. Mm. But now it's the official tasting. Okay, we have had a mini rest. We have cleansed our palates and we are ready to be objective and professional. But we're still really hungry and thirsty. So who knows if that's going to be possible. <laughs> we'll take a mosquito. <laughs> Aroma report. This has a not dark chocolate, chocolatey cinnamon. Switch. Oh. Oh, yours is interesting. Yours is. Mine is awesome. very interesting. I don't even know how to describe it. It's a grain. Yes, like wet it has grain. Has a wet though. grain. Wet yeah. grain. Okay. Yes, that that has that and. Uh, there's something there that I don't know how to describe. Mushroomy? Like, I don't, it's really, I didn't expect that from a rogue way, okay? Okay, again, uh, these are thermos. Initially, at the start of the day, we had uh, Bai in it. And because it's a high, we're not going to rinse that very well. well. You can't just pour water out, right? Could be that reason. Could be. And with a hot brew, it really brings out the different notes. Okay, let's try it. I'm trying cold. The cold brew smell is really, really lovely though. It's a light, refreshing. Is that a tea leaf? That's a tea leaf. It's not a open up very much. Return the tea leaves. I w the reason I asked is because that tea leaf was almost like a pellet in my lips. Usually you get a leaf after a long brew. So we did do some infusions, you know, gung fu style. And then we, it's been in this cold water for a good few hours. You know, it hasn't, we didn't do a 24 hour cold brew. It's not that kind of thing. 
but it was harder than I expected. It mm. wasn't like a, you know, and it's an oolong. I don't expect a super tender green tea, but it was still like pellet. Mm. Okay, and now after, once I come down from the leaf experience in my malt, again, this has that almost sweet cinnamon chocolatey. It's very pleasant. Um, the thickness and depth of the quote-unquote properly brewed Rogoi Huayuan Kung is absent. But man, this is good. I wouldn't recommend brewing Huayuan Kung Rogoi in this fashion. Yes. For sure. But uh, similar, it was a fun experiment. Similar right? for me as for the hog brew. Right. That grain kind of a flavor is still there. And uh, switch hands. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh my god. My neck and my arms are frozen. Okay. The hot brew, that grain, the brown, like a grain, like... Almost brown rice or something. Yeah, that kind of a grain side mm. of the tea really pops. Yeah. Mm, I cannot say I overly, I really think... I'm not overly into that. No, it, let's go back to the moment where you asked me should we do a cold or should we do a hot? Knowing what I know now, I would do it all cold. All of it, for sure. I think the pressure cooker, boiling hot water in that thermos, it didn't do as cool of like, you know, if those were my only two choices after a mountain. Okay, zone. first of all, I don't think those do the good thing for the tea. Exactly. Like it, but it's that one was not look, as look, good. Look, oh. it's a very important the baseline, it's not a bad tea. Right? It's oh, yeah. The stunning tea in thermos. It sure, tastes sure. absolutely stunning. It's hard to describe because it's a, a great tea. Mm. Right? It's not simple profile. It's uh, complex and hard to pick out uh, specific notes. Mm -hmm. And later, especially with later infusions, because early infusions, usually with rock tea, it's not very hard to have those kind of, uh, mm -hmm. you know, just a uh, uh, thank you, because my arm is sinking. Uh, to have those uh, like uh, uh, rosy or dark chocolate, it's a for early infusion. The later infusion is start to get deeper in the true like the, the core of the leaves. So yeah. Uh, so those teas in both thermos, cold or hot, both taste good yeah, really as a good, good tea. Yeah. Like you would not say, okay, this is a, a rough tea. It's not drinkable. No, it's no, astringent. It's bitter. I didn't zero, mean to give that impression. Zero of that. What I recommend. Or like Phil said, I agree. I don't recommend because of how precious this tea is, but and the result of this, I feel like it's not yeah. doing the best for the tea. Sure. It's not doing it justice. Right. Do I do I have to choose? I don't want to choose. Actually, I don't want to choose. Cold brew. I tried it. No, I also. I don't. I, okay. I'm sticking with it. Mm. I for sure choose the cold brew. In the situation we were in, we got only seven infusions and we mm. had to leave. We got to do something with mm. the leaf. I would just put it all cold. Just for me. Mm. But the hot is really good too. <laughs> I just love the cinnamon just, just chocolate. A, yes. It definitely the cold brew has it. Why I don't like the cold brew? Because I feel it's separate. I can mm. taste the water. I can mm. taste that uh, spring water. I know I use that as spring water brew so it, good. and I can taste the tea. I, I personally don't like that the separation. Right. Really. While right. the hot one feels uniform, that's the tea mm. I'm tasting. I don't taste the water per se. That's a really good point. So I'm that's going back why, for another sip. That's why it's, I'm not going to choose because it's hard. And uh, in terms of flavor, that is the chocolate has a little bit of that. It's almost like I'm smelling dark chocolate. Mm. So it's very pleasant. Mm. While this it has that green one. Also, with a little bit weird i cannot describe why or how or what that actually hmm. aroma or that smell is but it's with a little bit something unique little teeth in there it's still not the best of the teeth yeah no choice. where's no the choice. cup i want I to try the hot one it. again hmm. i don't know how much your longer your arm can last i'll try to get uh, that i'm switching hand again switch again good call this is a little bit of an extended. I didn't think it would be so long. I can't help with that arm. Oh, sorry, I had to do a little shoulder relaxation. After all day with the backpack and stuff, it's a little bit hard. But you see, you don't taste the, this 
No, it's not separate. I didn't, I didn't notice that. And you're right, this one's way harder to place. The other one is obvious, dead obvious. Maybe because it's so And that's pretty yeah, much it. There's no depth. Yeah. yeah. yeah the, that's one of the things I never recommend lower water temperature for bring good mm. teeth, especially good teeth. If you lose that precious depth. So there you have it. That is our report of the High Mountain Brewed Thermos Rogue Cold Brew and Hot Brew after Seven Steep kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed this tasting notes. I just want to do a quick update video on the uh, cold brew uh, Rogue Hui Ren Ken from yesterday. So it was from this mug and uh, we didn't fully finish it. So we had about 10 to 15 percent left the uh, water was 10 to 15 percent left with the tea so the amount was intense but when we just uh, um, uh, tried it this cold brew was excellent mm. thick and smooth and uh, it's it has some depth of the rock tea. Do you agree? Oh yeah. Yeah. It was really good. It was really pr impressive. So I was thinking, first uh, yesterday we didn't do enough time. It was a couple of hours. It's not quite fair for a cold brew. And second is maybe cold brew needs quite intense leaf to water ratio. Uh, if you often do cold brew and are very experienced, feel free to uh, share uh, your knowledge with us because we really do cold brew but this is a something I find really interesting and we might start experience with this kind of a intensive cold brew mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how to call it so just wanted to fill an update and this is the liquor color almost the same as the as regular a brew like mm -hmm. a gongfu brew liquor color right Okay, I'll pop in. <laughs> no, I just wanted. Yeah. Do you thanks. have anything to add, Mr. Philip? No, I was just <laughs> cleaning up the thermos, getting ready to make some tea, and boom, that was just so. Yeah, smooth. Mm. That's really good. Really good.